Welcome to the Equipping Leaders podcast. I'm Natasha, and my goal is to equip leaders with tools to make their leadership journey easier and more expansive. Today, I'm talking about leading through change. We all work in organizations that experience change, and each type of change comes with its own challenges. Because this is a nuanced topic, today I'm going to just talk about your responsibility as a leader when change occurs. So with this, there are three core things to alleviate and to pay attention to when change is happening. And so the first is that you want to ease people's worries. Second, you want to encourage them to keep communicating and you want to keep communicating yourself. And then third, you want to address any uncertainty as much as you are able. When we ease people's worries, we're not promising them that nothing bad is ever going to happen. It, that would actually be a really weird thing to promise, right? We can't predict the future. Instead, what we're doing is we're listening to the worry and then we're offering any information that we can without negating that worry that they have. We don't want to gaslight them or try to convince them of anything else, right? We're trying to just listen and address as appropriate. It's also important to mention here that some people have already made up a story in their head and it does not matter what you say. They're going to believe their story no matter what. So as leaders, we don't need to fall into the trap of always having to convince people of the truth. I was supporting some leaders through an organizational change recently, and one of the junior people in the organization felt compelled, uh, compelled to share their worries with the larger group which showed really good psychological safety within that group. But the story or the version of what was going on that this person was telling was quite a fantastical tale, I would say. Uh, And so when people start to spiral into this type of magical thinking, we definitely want to bring them back to reality as much as we can, which is something that we can do by addressing the uncertainty. When we don't have all the information, the human brain doesn't really do us any favors there. Instead, what it does is it fills in the gaps with things that we have heard in other organizations, things from our past, and usually those things that we fill it in with aren't good, right? So we want to address that uncertainty whenever it comes up. But we also want to remember that you cannot change someone's mind once they've made it up. For communication, we want to encourage open communication, and we do that by demonstrating open communication. When we have information, we share it. And even if we've shared it before, remember to keep sharing those important details as often as possible. It can really help ease people's minds. And then the last thing that I want to say here is that while you are a leader, the other people in the organization, those are also still adults. So you will do everything that you can to communicate to ease anxieties and address uncertainty, and you'll continue to listen and move folks forward. But it's not your responsibility to handhold and baby people, right? They also need to take accountability for how they move through the change as well. Thanks for listening.